Hey guys, and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blanca. So just getting out here really quick before I get um, start heading over to the Delray Beach Orchid Society Orchid Show. Um, that starts, setup starts today and the show, the show starts tomorrow, Saturday, runs through Sunday from about 10 to three. Um, not really um, sure if it starts at nine or at 10, but um, I will try to post, a, um, do a community post on the hours. Um, so if you're in that area, you can always stop by. Uh, let's see, so my sprinklers just turned off and I'm starting to feel a little bit of drizzle. So it's gonna start raining soon. Let me just give you guys a really quick update on what's going on um, in the garden. Have not been out here in a few days because as you know, um, well, maybe you don't know, uh, but I make candles and this is my really, really busy season. Um, so I've been making candles like a crazy candle maker. <laughs> And all those candles, I'm taking them over to the Delray Beach, um, Delray Beach show. So if you're local and you can go and you um, want to take a drive to Delray Beach, I will be there as a vendor with all of my yummy candles. All right, so these are all of my gorgeous blooms. Um, last time I posted a video, so you guys had questions um, regarding the different cherry babies and why they're different colors, and that's because they're different varieties. Um, not sure what the name of this one is. I know that this is probably the Sweet Fragrance. Right over here, Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance, which is a little bit more brown, smells like chocolate, and this one's a little bit more caramel. So, there's um, lots of different hybrids, and they do beautifully um, in my climate, and they do beautifully mounted. So, um, the rain is starting to pick up, and I really don't want to get wet. So, let's just um, really want to check how the zygote is doing. I've got so many dendrobiums that are starting to spike. You guys, somebody commented on my Dendrobium Nobilis. I shouldn't um, hang them upside down. You guys, they're so top heavy that if I hang them or if I attach them right side up, they will never attach. So this is the reason why Dendrobium Nobilis on my palms, I attach um, upside down. I understand that the Dendrobium Nuss Moms is that's the way they grow. But the Dendrobium nobilis, if you're gonna be attaching them to a tree, it's just easier when you put them upside down. They're the only ones that I mount that way. This is the Dendrobium Enobi Splash. It's doing great. And my Oncidium um, Sweet Sugar has multiplied. I think it's, it's, it's gotten bigger. Well, I think it likes it there. All right, let's see. Let's see how the zygote is doing. I'm super excited that's in bloom. Look at, the, look at that. It's not in bloom yet, but it's in bud. Look at how what pretty buds, nice plump buds on her. <clears throat> on her. Gosh, it's so early. <coughs> I have to clear my throat. So that's the zygote. Um, blooms once a year and she does amazing. I can't wait to see her blooms. Let me just turn the corner here to see how my other orchids are doing. Ah! Oh, this one's in bloom. Look at this. You're gone. You're out of the garden for a few days and you find new blooms. What a great feeling. There you go. This is a Valera Big Shot Kilo Sparkle. And she's got two blooms on her. So even something this pretty, it does so well attached, you guys. Look at that. What a pretty girl. Let me just show you the tag. A Bolera Big Shot Kilo Sparkle. And she's so pretty. Alright. Just getting her tag back in here. Alright. The Sherry Abe is still booming, which is all the way up there. Now, one of the Sherry Abe's um, I relocated. And I am just going to um, turn the corner here because I haven't shown you this area in a while. My plumerias, which are over there, you guys ask, are doing amazing. Some of them are in bloom. There's actually one in bloom. And then look at these dendrobiums. I have to cut a little bit of um, just of these old, old shoots, but or old flower spikes, but. Look at that, lots of, lots of buds. 
All right, so let's go to the orchid section. <laughs> I promise you it's raining. Of course, it hasn't rained all week. The minute I come out here, it starts to rain. So their sprinkler systems are back up. I've been watering um, my orchids uh, with the sprinkler system, even though it does go a little bit um, very forceful. So I get scared of the, um, the force that it sprays my orchids, but it beats having to come out here twice a day, every day. So in the mornings around 6.30 a.m., everything gets watered. Let's see, I've relocated some orchids because there's nothing in bloom anymore. All of my, well, there's, there's still orchids in bloom, but all of my violettas have already faded, so they're already, they're already over here placed right in the front. I don't wanna move my camera so fast. Can you see how I place them? There's four right at this entrance, and then there's two at that entrance, okay? As far as blooms, look at this pretty girl's opened up. Look at what a gorgeous, gorgeous, petite little Vanda. So this is my Molt Leprechaun. She's very fragrant. Oh my goodness, super, super fragrant. Look at how cute and tiny. I mean, look at the size. Look at the size of that flower right there. And this is the Periarara Molt Leprechaun Haiku Mint. Super, super mini Vanda, very compact, but lots of fragrance on her. All right. Let's see what else is happening. So everything is nice and drenched, as you can see. I love to see all of these green roots Everything's super soaked and hydrated. For those wondering about my mini orchid, my mini mini vanda from Smiley, there she is on the bonsai. All right, all of my vandas down there are doing nicely. I don't think I've got anything in spike so far. I really have not been out here in four days, so except the water really quick, so I haven't been inspecting. Um, here's my rosy sunset F still in bloom. Still in bloom. And I really want to show you my gingerbread. My cat is sedum, Frederick Clark after dark. That's a tag right here. And these are her blooms about to just open. We're still in the opening process. Let's see. So this is what they look like right before they just open nicely. Like I told you guys, these will be fully opened by um, maybe by the end of this weekend. So Halloween week, these will be just fully open. This is the um, that gingerbread Frederick Clark after dark. Smells amazing. Just like gingerbread cookies. And they're so... They're so pretty. So catacetums, you guys. Mm, it's already fragrant. Um, so catacetums for me are a little bit easy to take care of. Now I do have to tell you guys, I am not thrilled with the way that the pseudobulbs look. The big bulbs. I mean, the older pseudobulbs are just like shriveled up. Um, I've had probably better, um, better luck when I had my catacetums under my terrace. Uh, so they might be getting just a little bit too much heat under here and not staying as moist because they like to be on the moist on the moist side at least for me um i've noticed that out here they're not as happy so i might do some a little bit of a re rearrangements to my catacetums but i mean they're blooming i'm not getting as many blooms but um but they're blooming so let's see and then if there's no way even though i really don't put them through dormancy because of just um they're under the same regimen as all my other orchids. Uh, they've they've never suffered before not going through dormancy. Now they're, I think they're suffering a little bit just because of the this just the heat that they're getting out here. So that's what I have to say about my catacetums. <laughs> For those of you that wonder how I keep them, um, let's see. That here's the other sherry abe. See everything is so. And now it's rain, so now everything's gonna get even more soaked, but it's fine, because they'll dry up. There's my other Sherry Abe. 
which is um which is gonna which is gonna bloom soon. There you go. My violetas, this beautiful vanda is still doing amazing under here. So um, I had plans to put her around my pool. Um, but we'll see. Once once her flowers all fade, I'm thinking of moving her. What do you guys think? She just needs um, probably a, a little bit more sun than when she gets here. Even though in the afternoon she gets it, she gets hit directly, which is why I added the Spanish moss. You guys, last video, um, you were asking me about where I got my Spanish moss, and really, I get it all from my garden now. I used to get it at um, uh, at a local nursery, a Heavenly Garden, um, just a little bit. Every time I would get an arrangement, and sometimes it would give me like a handful. And really, it just multiplies. So everything that you see around the garden recently or in the past, um, I want to say in the past year, everything is from my own, my own garden. It just grows and I grab it and I relocate it and I have it all over. It's just everywhere. So to answer that question, and then this Cattleya here that was in bud that I was hoping to get flowers from, it definitely got hit by thrips look at this she was going to be such a beautiful beautiful cat leia but that's what happens when you have thrips so she's already been treated so hopefully next time she blooms it'll be a lot better so so that's it you guys super excited about um this weekend show oh, I'm a little bit zoomed in super excited about this weekend show delray beach if you're in the west palm beach area in the boca area in the delray beach area um I'll see you guys at the show um, if you can make it. It's going to be a nice show indoors, so it's going to be comfortable. And I'm excited. I know that Brethren's going to be there. Springwater Orchids is going to be there. Odoms, Max, Orchids. Uh, who else? I think that's um, off the top of my head, um, the, the vendors that I can think of. Uh, but it should be a nice show. I'll be there as a vendor with my candles. And I'm going to bring you guys with me so you guys can see that show um how it is i had a really nice time when i was there last um i think i was there last in 2019 yeah i was there last october of 2019 so it's been two years so very excited to see everybody um and that's it thank you guys for watching next video will be of the show so i will see you there at delray beach um and that's it see you soon in my next video <laughs> thank you for watching bye-bye